Okay, old radio night there. We're gonna start out there and uh, what is it? It's uh, 928. 928 was 928? 929 already, wow. And uh, so I'm gonna get in there and let that, uh, that uh, Eagle Beak at 1940 tell us what he's talking on there. there. Roger? Roger, and you got that uh, V5000 uh, Mako antenna? Well, I tell you what, you're sounding good on this radio here. It's got a good uh, output sound for its speaker. I've got it on an extension speaker on a tram extension speaker for my D300 tram. That's what I'm using on it. And you really sound good on there uh, tonight. So, uh, all right, well, uh, I want to stand by and let some of them other fellas get in there. Yeah, you're sounding good too there, crazy man, and uh, yeah, it's a nice uh, clear night there, not a lot of static. Uh, let's see if we can get that uh, 987 on John's Island in there. 987, can you go ahead and, and, and holler there, come on. Yeah, Roger, you say you're getting a video gate going too for everybody? Yeah, Roger, now if we wanted to get on YouTube and watch yours there, we would uh, look on YouTube and uh, what would we, what would the name be, everything? Would it be uh, 987 uh, Rusty Nail or would it be Rusty Nail 987? Yeah, okay, so it would be Rusty Nail, no space, all one word, and 987 all together, no spaces, right? Okay. I just couldn't remember. I, I got you down as a, you know, on a channel there, but I couldn't remember your YouTube name if it was just Rusty Nail or if it did have Rusty Nail 987. Uh, no 987. 
All right, so we just look in there on YouTube for Rusty Nail Tenfold. I'm YouTube. Roger. Did you copy that Eagle Beat? Roger, Roger. How about that fireball? You out there? We lost fireball. How about that deer guts base? Yeah, well, you were so strong on uh, this radio here uh, to begin with. It's got a DX and a local uh, switch on it. I was hoping that it, that it might be one of them built-in linears, you know. I need to get me one of them, but it wasn't that. It was to, uh, you know, cut down a kind of like a RF gain off and on thing. So uh, when uh, you came in there, when... To begin with, I had it on the uh, DX, and you about blew my radio up, and then I turned the volume down, so let me try that switch, and I did, and you came down, uh, you know, real good, but when you switched to the beams, uh, you setting up in there with 987 on John's Island. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I got you, uh, oh yeah, it, I got you, but I just got you on the, the local, uh, what cuts you down there, but if you look at that uh, video, you'll see it, you can even see it on the meter drop down when you did that, and uh, you can, you can hear the difference on the speaker, the sound. Yeah, Roger, the needle's not even moving. It fell down in the, the, the somewhere down inside the meter. Uh, let me find a pair of tweezers to pull it up out of there. Come on. Yeah, 10 -4. Yeah, you could see the difference there. Uh, a uh, a red light, no doubt there. It really uh, it made a difference there, 10 -4. Well, how about uh, a uh, fireball? What happened to fireball? What in the world happened to him? I don't know. What about your fireball? Fireball, you out there on the channel, buddy? Roger, Roger. Well, he was in there earlier. I thought he was going to hang in there. He might have had to uh, take a 10, 100 and a half. Roger. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Oh, that's what it sounds like. How do you do a little paperwork? <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what I'm talking on. Courier Spartan SSB, uh, a 23 channel uh, sideband radio. It's got an up and down. Uh, 
a uh, meter, you know, vertical meter instead of horizontal, and uh, it's uh, black and chrome. It's got a PA and a CB switch on the front, a noise blanker and off, a DX and local, a volume, a squelch, a clarifier, and an AM and uh, sideband uh, switch there. And so uh, it, it has a real good receive on it. The sound of everybody is uh, really, really good there. So uh, that's what I'm uh, going to be on there. And uh, we're going to try uh, sideband. Uh, I wanted to hang out there and get that fireball on there. And uh, we could try it on the lower side of this one here and, you know, see how y'all sound on sideband. Roger? Not since last week there, uh, Roger. Uh, maybe he, uh, I thought he's going to be out there and also Boo 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 Baloo, uh, Crazy Man's uh, real good friend there. The Boo 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 Baloo there, Roger. I have a phone with Shane Bean, Shane with Boo Baloo. I did get a grip on that. What'd you do with Boo 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 Baloo there, Crazy Man? I know, he's safe. He's back out here. He must be picked up and whatever some of them is. He gets straight out. Yeah, probably he might be building you one with a, a one you gonna need a hand truck to go get. Yeah, that way I can build that that 529 out into the woods or that 52 in the woods. Yeah, 10-4, you gonna say that like that song? I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. I'm going to sit by and listen to you all there. I'm standing by. Okay, okay that's 21. Yeah, uh, this rascal over here, uh, uh, Paul Hardy. This guy's over there on the box there. She was there. I want to pay that right around $150 for Paul Hardy. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. Well, you see, it's out. Oh, he's 
trying to get it tonight, man. You got a good copy on you. All right, well, I'm going to hear you back out the way. trying to catch me riding dirty. Oh, you You better stay out of that damn barn up in front. Yeah, see, a dirty diaper, they always trying to catch me riding dirty with a dirty diaper. Ah, hey, you, I don't care why they catch me, boy. <laughs> you know, dark, dirty diaper there, Burger Burger. Hey, there's that Boo Boo Lou there. Hey, Boo Boo Lou. Roger, I got you on this video gate there, so, uh, hey, next time you're up there in uh, New York or New Jersey, you hear that pistol grip, I think pistol grip 127, uh, or maybe if you hear uh, Trinitron 9, Eddie Victory there, hey, let him get a five for me, tell him I said hello, Roger. Yeah, Trinitron 9, he does it for the kids, right? Yeah, Trinitron 9 there, he's, uh, He's, he has some video gates there. I've talked to him uh, three or four times over the years there, and I got him. I watch his video gates. He's somewhere around up there in New York area, the Roger. Hey, he's in the Apple over there in the city. Yeah. 410. Well, let me uh, stand by and you tell us what kind of radio you're talking on there. I think, is that that Big Johnson? No, uh, it's the Galaxy radio. I got a 5 pill hybrid. Four ten. What kind of galaxy is it? Nine fifty nine. Nine five nine. There, yeah, Roger. What kind of antenna are you running? Andrew. Antron. Yeah, ninety nine. Ten, Roger. Ten, Roger. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah. I'm glad you got in there, man. We was wondering what happened to you. Fourteen twenty fourteen. What does it say it again? Got your body, sort of dog on cop. Pick up food, you cut and move your body. What that? Somebody was talking that. That's crazy, man. Uh, what'd you say? It. What kind of pills it had? An SD four four six driving four HG twenty eight seventy nine hundred watt P and P. Roger, Roger. You hadn't had any trouble with those HG uh, pills? Nah, I got rid of 20 boxes already with those HG pills. Everybody's thrilled with them. Now there's a new one out there from RF parts. It's 120 watts PEP. What's its number? It's called RFP 2870, 2879. The RF parts, I guess, uh, designed it. Wow.
ten four. Okay, well I'm gonna stand by there, and that's that uh, a Babalu. A, a a tell me your numbers again. I know what they are, but forgot. Nine two nine. Yeah, nine two nine. I was gonna call you nine eight seven. I know it's nine, but I was scared. I was gonna say nine eight seven. Okay, nine two nine. All right, we standing by. Can you hear him okay there, uh, Eagle B? Yeah, I hear him loud and clear. Oh, Bob what's up? Uh, you sell those boxes? Which one of those five pills go for, man? What you asking for one of those? Just out of curiosity there. you made it in there. Uh, you want to tell us what uh, kind of radio you're talking on? Are you talking to me now, buddy? Yeah, talking to Hop Along there. 21, uh, got the video gate, wanted to uh, get you on old radio night video gate. And uh, 987's making one over there on Johns Island. So, hey, uh, tell us what kind of radio you got and antenna and stuff. I'm talking on a uh 25 year old Cobra 2000 and I got an Antron 99 about 
40 feet in here. 10 4. Well, it's sounding good on my end. Uh, I hope so. It's been working well for me. Been hanging in there. I'm going to knock on wood. What did he say? Ranger and that mobile, I got you on video gate there in your 980 uh, Uniden sideband. Yeah, well, Uniden sideband stock, completely stock with a uh, one of our lines in the seat. A little blue face Palomar 350 and a Wilson 1000 magnetic mount antenna. Is that, is that legal? Uh, probably not, but nobody cares. Okay, just checking. It's just small fry compared to what some of these guys are running. I'm a little pissed quick. Tenfold. Well, some of them guys out there got to take two orders and run this. Yeah, I only got one alternator. I can't be too big. Can't be, can't run anything too big in a little Toyota alternator. Man, you're going to wave a hand at you. 1.16, crazy man, picking at you. You have a good one. All right, crazy man, I just barely heard you under all this power line noise underneath this stoplight, but I'm just pulling into Bunch Corner, so it's pretty noisy. And three forward is Eagle B, giving you a wave. Hey, uh, Night Range Eagle Beak was waving at you, and you got that 987 breaking, so I'm going to stand by. Okay, yeah, Eagle Beak, uh, I don't know if I can hear you. I'm right in the middle of Munch Corner, and it's pretty noisy out uh, here. But uh, good evening to you. Well, I'm getting a good signal on you. Uh, I got a stingy needle, and you're putting about a five on me. Well, if I wasn't underneath all these stoplights out here, I'm sure I'd better hear you easily. But it's real noisy here next to the Taco Bell and whatever it is right in this area. It's always noisy. Uh oh, uh, tacos again tonight. What you gonna get this time? You gonna get one of those uh, combination burrito tacos, and uh, we call it um, oh shoot, what's that other thing there? Chalupa. Oh no, I just where I'm going. I just happen to be passing by it. Although I did go here for lunch. Anyway, I'm at my destination. I'll be back in here in just a little bit. Night Ranger on the move. Roger. 987, go ahead.
Joe, that'd be great. What's that now? I got something for you. Got something for me, okay. Yeah. <coughs> hey, uh, Babalu, you still out there? We say they're in 1940. Yeah, I got two Civil War ancestors buried within two miles of me. Wow. Were they buried in a church cemetery or what? One's up at the campground. Uh, the other one's in Shady Rest in Ridgeville. Right, right. I hadn't been to that Cypress campground for uh, anything, but I went to that one up there, up in Reesville or whatever, and that one up there, great day. Uh, my mother uh, worked with some of those people for Dorchester County. She was uh, worked up there at the road department and uh, about 15 years, and all those people up around that way and everywhere, they uh, went to that campground up there, and man, they had, they had the food. Uh, Unbelievable. Uh, did they do that over there at that Cypress campground too? Damn four, damn four. Now, I haven't been up there lately because uh, it's kind of an invitation thing and all of my family, I don't have any of them there anymore. Uh, but uh, they, they usually have cook in the back there and cook on wood and drink everything the whole time way. Right, one time part of it burned down, didn't it? That's happened a couple of times. I noticed the last time I went by there, they got security cameras all around now. Yeah, it's a shame they got to do that. Yeah, that old time cooking in the back, and the ladies doing that on that wood stove and all, you know, it's just that wood, that wood smell. Kind of like, you know, you, you're cooking on a... Uh, barbecue grill with uh, charcoal and then putting and then comparing it to put it in the microwave oven you just can't compare the two there Roger. Damn fool, damn fool. I can remember when I was a kid going out there before they had electricity they used to have stands in front of the, the uh, buildings to heat up the food and When y'all used to uh, have the old cars and all, did they let you sit on the front of the hood with candles so they could drive down the road? It was about that way. Uh, I tell you, I, I left in a different world from most people. I know, yeah. Uh, you was telling me, uh, well, I mentioned that Shuler's feed mill over there off McDougal on 176, you know. But y'all had used to tell me your dad had his own 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 feed mill thing, right? Yeah, for ten for we used to bring in citrus pulp from Florida and then resell it to the dairies up here and they'd mix it with cotton seed uh, meal to feed to the milk cows. Right, Joe. What kind of radio are you on now there, 987? I was uh, earlier there when you heard me playing Dixie there. I was on the Sears uh, 23 channel there. Now I'm back on my five, go quad five. Roger on the quad five. Well, um, Bobaloo, you still out there? He must be on the email. Well, I've heard him off and on, uh, on the channel several times today. Uh, 
this is Roger B. <laughs> yeah. Now you might be talking uh, that uh, better right out of about that later. Simple. That's what you say you can do for it. Yeah, I wanted to, I was trying to write his email down, but it's like, you know, I couldn't get my head and I couldn't find a pen. And uh, by the time he said part of it, I tried to find a pen, then I couldn't find something to write on, then I did find it, and then the pen fell on the floor, and then he just took off. Yeah, 51. Now, it's B-A-B-A-L-O. The way I would have stood him there would be just B-O-B-O. -B -O. And then the, uh, the number. And that gmail.com. Careful. Red Light must have got it because uh, he, he was listening and writing. He's, I think he carries pens and pencils behind his ear. I've seen people do that, you know. I see that bad. I see him sticking it in the ear. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to turn your head, dude. That'd be safe. Yeah, come on. Is that you there? Uh, tag along. Who had to go? Who that? Who had to go? Oh, red light did. Is that you? Tag along. Ten four. How you doing over there? Roger, Roger. Well, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know uh, that was you there first. There, I got a pretty good copy on you. Let me see. I got this distant. Yeah, I got you on the there and. Uh, well, how's everything going? How's, uh, you heard from Neha lately? <laughs> Crazy man, can you hear him? Negative. Wow. How about you, 987? Can you hear him? That's Tag Along out in Wallaburra. Well, I got this little small antenna. This radio here must have some good ears on it, man. Little small, short, off the ground, the Dirty Night Ranger diaper antenna combination, Night Ranger and Dirty Diaper antenna there. And, uh, you know, and uh, this old radio here, so it must have good receive. I might, I might put this in my truck for sideband, I don't know. You what now? Come on. Hey, tag along. Uh, how's he doing? He's uh, already been buried. They already buried him there, Roger. Huh? Cowboy passed away there, Roger. Yeah, they buried him in Varnville. They buried him another day in Varnville, what I understand there. Uh, like only one or two people off the radio uh, went up there to, you know, to the funeral. Uh, I wanted to go, but I was working, and then I thought about it, you know, and uh, the way that uh, some of them like to, it's kind of like uh, CNN and uh, MSNBC, some of them, the way they try to spin things around. You know, if they hadn't have went, or if I did go, they'd say, well, the only reason 21 went is so he could probably try to get some of the radio equipment. You know, it's like I can't even move in my radio room now. And, uh, I, you know, and uh, I've already got two radios exactly like he had. I don't know why, but that's what they'd say. So, But anyway, uh, you know, I knew him good when he was alive, so that's the way... I try to, like my mother said when she was passing away, she said, uh, tell those people that never come to see me when I was alive, don't bother coming to see me when I'm dead. Yep, that's a 
the same way. She said, if you want to give me flowers, give them to me now. Y'all out there tag along. I got you in there, but it's rough on this radio because it's, uh, the, you know, I just run this uh, a, uh, IMAX 2000 about 20 foot up off the ground there. But anyway, I'm glad to hear you in there getting in there on old radio night there. You're in over there around Moss Corner. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Wallaburra. I had to tag along as 21. We back out. Tag along, 1940. Uh, I've heard you before. I can get a copy on you tonight, but I've heard you when you really boomed in there for me. Uh, Tag along, 1940. Seven and uh, crazy man and um, a uh, 1940. You want to go on the lower side of this one here to try it out? Yeah, Roger. Okay, well, go ahead there if you can, 987, and as soon as you can. And then we'll go, so I don't know how it'll work out for us. Alright, I'm switching to lower side. If you can't get anybody, I'll go back to AM. I got you in there. I'm trying to get y'all clarified in. Uh, let me get, let me cut this box off there. I don't know if I need this box on or not there. But uh, how, can y'all hear me? Roger, I got you there, 987. This little box I'm talking on, it really isn't made for sideband. Cotton picking needles about to bounce out the cotton picking uh, meter there. But uh, anyway, uh, let me stand by and let that uh, eagle beak and that uh, a crazy man get in there. Say what about being on frequency? Roger, Roger, on dead on frequency. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, they hadn't been inside this radio here messing with it. I might put this radio in my uh, truck and uh, get a switch box on it where I can. Uh, be on sideband because I like to receive on it and uh, I like the uh, you know the, the uh, sideband part of it well um, let's see if that uh, 1940 made it over here uh, 1940 are you in there right right I got you in there did I change whenever I changed to come to you how about a 1940? How about a 1940? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm transmitting on sideband pretty good or is off a little bit too? Uh, yours is slightly off to the left a tiny little bit, but as uh, long as you don't run a bunch of power and we're overloading the radio, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, I just barefoot radio there. Um, I kind of tuned it a little bit more there. Did that sound a little bit better on your side now? Roger, yeah, it's doing good there. Doing good. 
Uh, you pretty close on it. You pretty close on it with me and 987. 987, can you hear that red light? Yeah, who's that in there now? That's you, crazy man. Yes, sir. All right, I had to go to, I had to a uh, go the other way. Let's see where I'm at. Yeah, uh, <coughs> excuse me. You're to the right, uh, the positive side, and about halfway between 12 o'clock and uh, like, I don't know, 3 o'clock, uh, something like that, and then uh, red light is uh, like about 11 o'clock, and uh, so, well, uh, let me stand by and see if you can hear that uh, eagle beak. Eagle beak, we got it. Come on, John. I'm trying to get in. I broke my channel uh, around one channel off, so maybe I can just put it down now. Hey Roger, a hey, uh, Eagle Beak cut off everything except just your radio. Cut off everything except just the radio. That's perfect, perfect there, perfect. Yeah, the other it's like the delay wasn't enough. It was uh clicking and cutting you off there is you know when you would talk in a peak it cut you off there but that right there is great uh crazy man and you 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 uh 987 and uh red light i'm gonna stand by roger on you stepping outside all right all right see you guys made it up on side man uh this little level stand on the side man sounds great that's what I thought, the 980 Bearcat, they tend to be dead on the frequency and they tend to sound pretty good on the sideband, just the way they are right out of the box. Yeah, it's really good modulation on it, got deep, good sounding, uh, it's not uh, scratchy or anything there, uh, Night Ranger. Yeah, I mean, that's probably as far as it's straight out of the box, it's probably about the best sideband, you know, regular mobile you can get. Of course, they say the 2950 radio is just a little deuce. Do you see the new version of the LCD display? That looks a little better. 2950? No, I hadn't seen the new one. Yeah, they just changed the display on it. Instead of that liquid crystal display, it's an LED display. Apparently, it's so much brighter in sunlight. You can see it better. Wow. Well, how's this old uh, Courier Spartan SSB 23 channel radio sounding to you? Roger, Roger. All right, well, Night Ranger, let me stand by and uh, see if you can get that Eagle Beak in there. And uh, I think uh, a, a couple others might still be back in there. Uh, as soon as I can get out from under this spot, this noisy stoplight, I will. Well, I thought you was on your base. Oh, no, I'm still on the mobile. Just headed out of a uh, bylo, but getting ready to head out of my corner now. Roger.
Hey, uh, red light. Okay. Hey, uh, did you get Boo 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 Baloo? Alright, look here. How did he how did he spell that boo 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 baloo there? B A B A L O B A B O B A B O L O U B A B A L O U B A B A L O U, is that right? B A B A What he say there? I'm trying to saw back and forth between the two of you. Uh, tell me what he said, red light. Don't go real fast, cause I'm old and dumb. B A B A B A B A B A B A B A L O U five one at gmail dot com. Yeah, Roger. That's what I was writing down there. But uh, then I tried to hear what he said, and then I thought he said B A B A B B B. I don't know. All right, I got it now. Hey, Bobaloo. How about that Bobaloo? B A B A B B B B B Lou. Come on. Where'd you go? You back there, nine eight seven? Is that you, 987? Alright, hey, I'm going to stand by see if you can get those guys in there. That Bobaloo and them is in there now. Roger, Roger. I got that red light in there, too. Red light, you hear that, 987? Oh, he's going back to calling Bobaloo now. I can hear him in there, but I can't make out what he's saying there. Okay. I thought you'd gone to call Bobaloo again. You want to go back to AM again? Uh, my arm's getting tired. Yeah, I'm gonna go back, go back to AM there. All right. How about it, crazy man? Okay. Yeah, Roger. Uh, somebody's still over there. Oh yeah, sounding great, man. Yeah, I had a good copy on you. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the sideband over there. It's doing great. Yeah, boy, I got a lock on it, so when I got it, where I thought it should be, uh, <coughs> push the lock. Wow. Okay. Yeah, 410. He was in his mobile. Yeah, it's at uh, Bearcat 980. Roger. Yeah, we got you. That's at 1961. Roger, what kind of radio are you talking on now? Is that the $5 radio or is that the $5.75 radio? Malika, Malika, it looks like a Galaxy Saturn. Roger, Roger. Uh, does it have upper and lower sideband on it and uh, FM and all like that? I wonder why they had that one in uh, the, you know, the Galaxy Saturn. I wonder what the difference is. Oh, 
Roger on that there. Yeah, you coming in good there. Are you on your Antron? Uh, it's on here. On the Antron, I don't know. And four. All right, there, Star Patrol. I'm gonna stand by there and get out the way. All right, I got you on there, and you got what kind of radio you got, and uh, and you got one of them a hey, uh, funky D104s. Ten, uh, four, ten. All right, I'm standing by. Yeah, crazy man was talking to him, and I was listening there, and he said he's doing uh, good. You know, he's in a little bit of pain, but other than that, there he's doing good. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that because I had the same operation in January, and mine went all right too. Yeah, I told my daughter. What do you do? We can say you can take the bark. You better be by a Bible because we might do it in the purchase. Yeah, what is the purpose of the gallbladder anyway? I don't know, I won't buy that for it. It shows your bowels where you can go tell you know how to worry about using your punches. Yeah, yeah, did you think about getting uh before you had yours taken out and all, did you think about getting a transplant? I don't really know. No, he took one damn thing out and I don't know. Leave no tools in there. I thought maybe you could get another and put in, you know, somebody that passed away or something and didn't need theirs, you could get that sewed back up in there. I don't know what it did, you know. Yeah, they uh, they they grow by itself. It, it takes grows right back in there. It takes so many years to do it though. Another to grow right back in the same place? Yes sir. <laughs> okay. What continues to drip? Uh, the fluid that it normally puts into the stomach, uh, it continues to do it, but it, it, it just does a little bit all of the time rather than, you know, just a burst. And you get all of those stones out of that, because that's usually what happens is you get a bunch of stones filled up in that little gallbladder and it's underneath the liver. And it's to get to. Right, well let me ask you, what causes the stones to get in there? Not drinking enough water or something or what? I don't know that anybody knows really. I think it's just the agent using it. Uh, uh, I didn't even have any symptoms until one night I just felt bloated and uh, I wrote up had EMS check my vitals they were normal, so I told them to go ahead and transport me anyway. As soon as I got to the ER, the ER doctor told me exactly what was wrong with it. <sighs> Ten four, do you have an appendix in still? Ten four, I still got that one. Roger.
Okay, well, um, I don't know whatever happened to uh, Fireball, but uh, 1940, uh, 987, 1961, a 116, 529, and 929, and I don't know whoever else is out there. I'm uh, going to put up this video gate there. It'll probably be up there. I don't know what time is it right now. Probably about 11 o'clock. Uh, maybe, maybe 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So uh, check all y'all out there on the radio. And uh, I'll be right back. And uh, I'm sure enjoyed it there. And uh, I'll be listening. 21 old radio night. Thank y'all. And I'm back out. What the heck are you doing here? 347. It's been a... Enjoyable evening, and I've enjoyed talking to everyone. And I wish everybody a great next week. Yeah, part two in that 1940, catch you later, bud. You have a five minute safe one out there. They call me crazy, man. Went back out. A 1940 before you go. All right. Uh, on uh, Saturday night, if you get on there, I don't know if you're going to be up at 11 o'clock at night, or you can always look at it on YouTube later, but you can listen to it live on YouTube. It's, it's OTR, Old Time Radio, and it's on Channel 11 on the CB out in California. But uh, you can actually check in on uh, Facebook, or you can check in on uh, the YouTube there and uh, watch it live and make comments or you can watch it later but um, it's OTR old time radio and that's base it's uh, uh, like 10,000 times better than what we're doing this guy here he's got an awesome setup you probably already seen it and all but uh, he'll show pictures of the radios that these guys are talking on he has them on there and then he'll show their kind of radios they have and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good there. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. So, all right, well, we back out. Careful, appreciate the information. I'll have to try and do that. Uh, like I said, I hope everybody has a great one. And I certainly enjoyed it. It's always a pleasure. You'll have a good night. Good night. Is that you, Audio? Who's up, Number D? What's up? What you doing? Hey, that must be Number Three, man. We just got back from Cherokee, North Carolina. Roger on that, there. Yeah, I was uh, trying to find out some more about that cowboy, there, Roger. Yeah, cowboy passed away at uh, eight o'clock uh, last Saturday. Yeah, Roger, I know that, there. I didn't know he's going to be buried that quick. Uh, up there in Varnville, uh, I was working anyway. I had to go in. We had a big shutdown at work, and uh, at that time, I didn't get home to four o'clock in the morning. I had to get back up and go back to work the next day, so I wasn't able to go there. But uh, yeah, did uh, you? Did you? Were you able to go to the funeral? No, three, uh, four, three, four. Uh, uh, four thirty-four. Me and forty-five couldn't make it. We had to work and everything, but. Right, right. Well, let me ask you a question. When uh, he passed away, uh, was his was was his son there in the room? His son was there. His daughter was there. His sister Sandy was there. Uh, Brad was there. Me, my girlfriend was there. I was there when he. I was there Friday and Saturday. You know, they took the machine off of me two o'clock. I know what you mean, man. I know. All right, man. Well, let me get on the side. I'm gonna uh, uh, get this video gate. Uh, uh, try to start uploading it there. I'll be right back. I got to run across the street to the cookout. Hey, you hit WD or two guys out there? Um, I brought some uh, couple guys of apples back. I'm gonna bring a couple guys. You know, roll some. You know, tap a few out. They were special apples. Uh, they are not. 
They're very delicious, but they got the uh, one called something gold and they're real good. But I'll catch you a little bit. It'll be number three. We're going back across the street, man. Yeah, 10 4 on that there. Well, maybe save a big apple for me, and I want to take and uh, a, a give it to Crazy Man and put him on, in his mouth and put him on a rotisserie there, Roger. <laughs> I hear you here, man. I hear you here. Hey, right, WD, man. We'll catch you a little while. We're number three, man. You got 45 out there. You ain't coming up a soldier, man. Then uh, I'll get back at him. 410. You're pretty.